I had to sit with this one for quite a while. I think at first the lyrical themes weren't quite sitting with me particularly too well. Not that they had bad lyrical themes, but I just wasn't quite grasping what Open Mike Eagle was talking about a lot of the time. Until I actually sat down and read them, I realised it wasn't all that hard to decipher. Musically though, I was pretty enthralled with this album actually. I think it's... Um musically more interesting than Dark Comedy, which is a quite a surprise for me because Dark Comedy is such a good album. Hella Personal Film Festival was a much catchier album though, I do think that musically tops this album, but lyrically this might be his best to date. I'm so happy that I sat with this as long as I did because this is certainly one of those albums that just just didn't click for me instantly and this is why I say you know you've got to give albums multiple listens and sometimes even in cases of this it might even be like seven or eight listens. Open Mike Eagles has such a unique flow on this album. A lot of the time when I was following the lyrics, I felt like the it's like rapping wasn't quite fitting on the beat. It was slightly off kilter, not in a bad way at all though, because I do feel like it's added some kind of experimentation to the album. Mike um, demonstrated on his last album, which was produced by Paul White, that he really knew his way around a hook. And this time around again, some of these hooks are really clever and really unique. Particularly on a track like How Could Anybody Feel At Home, which is a very clever song where he's talking about how he's been all over the world and he doesn't quite understand how someone could like feel at home. Um, and he feels like he's more at home when he's kind of like traveling around and going bouncing to place to place. He doesn't feel like there's one specific home that he has. But the hook on this one really just kind of comes out of nowhere. I really love the way he sounds on this hook. And then the like the post hook as well where he's like, I've been told. It is produced so superbly. I mean, oh man, the sound of this track is just an absolute pleasure. And the way he sounds on the chorus just completely adds to it. I really love this song. But then we do have tracks like No Selling where the beat is a bit more crunchier. It kind of like, where the way the like the pedal comes in like it really sounds great quite grimy in its sound honestly but um mike eagle honestly sounds great on this chorus i mean the way it's just like i'm no selling i'm no selling which is actually an absolute genius reference to wrestling. I mean, I used to love wrestling when I was younger. And selling is when, um, you know, the wrestler who is acting, in case you didn't know, wrestling is actually acting. Oh, my God. But the wrestler is kind of like faking their injuries. They're kind of like, you know, selling that they're actually hurt by the other wrestler. Whereas in this case, Mike is saying that he's not selling. And actually, you know, he's pretending like he's... A a lot bigger than he is and there's no way of bringing him down. A really cool way to approach a brag track, I mean this is such a good way to do it, um, I love the line where he's like trying to write fire, my pen full of flame, that shit burned my hand, I'm in a ton of, se in a ton of pain, but of course he's not going to show his pain at all. This kind of cockiness is really cool for Open Mike Eagle. It kind of comes through on the opening track, Legendary Iron Hood, which has got a really good guitar melody on this song with in laced into the beat, which is apparently from the They Might Be Giants member, which really shows his musical prowess to have a member like that on your song, especially in a rap song. But this song focuses on like a superhero, but it's done from a per the, 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 the first person's perspective. <laughs> first person perspective and I feel like Mike is sort of like referencing himself in some kind of way I, I just feel like that's what he's doing based on how he sounds on this album Happy Wasteland Day is a satirical take on the world at large but at the same time it's kind of like brutally depressing knowing that this is normal now like the everyday things that go on is just the norm of course, he's taking shots at things going on in America and all the shite that's going on over there. And all he really wants is just a day without guns, a day without bombs, a day without shite. And he can't really get it. And I'm sorry, Mike, I want to give it to you, but I, I can't. And it's sad. It's sad. I feel you, man. Mike's sense of humour certainly hasn't gone though, I do wish I heard it a bit more on this album because on previous albums he's really brought it through and it's just been hilarious and really nerdy. 
But we do get a part on the track Daydreaming in the Projects, which I just find really hilarious, where he's like, all these discussions online is mayonnaise versus mustard. Mayonnaise people think French can't be trusted. Mustard people think eggs is all busted. Uh, But fuck it, we be in it for the pattern interruptions. That part makes me chuckle a little bit, because it's very true how people just argue and bash each other online. It's really stupid and dumb, but at the same time, it's kind of funny when you think about it. So he does manage to resort back to his old comedic ways, even though he is tackling bigger topics on this album. I also need to mention that the track Hymnal with Samus on the feature um, is just incredible. Her her rap feature is immense like seriously that um those verses that verse in fact um was really really good i want to hear more from her and i finally want to talk about the track 95 radios which grew on me like a motherfucker when i initially heard this track i honestly thought the album was going to be quite disappointing and not going to live up to his previous work but honestly this track really just completely like jumped upside down and i really love it now the hook is so soft but yet it's so sticky trying to find a radio it's got quite like a twinkly you know cutesy melody to it but i do think it really just works as a song i mean i just never really thought i'd expect this kind of track from mike but honestly it's probably one of the best of the year and the best on the album So yeah, this album did take time with me. I know other people have said like, no, you're crazy, man. Like this immediately sunk in with me, but actually it took a bit more time with me. So I'm glad other people are loving this though. The only track I don't like really is Breezeway uh, Ritual, which honestly the production on that one is just a bit harsh and doesn't really fit in with the track at all for me. Other than that, Open Mike Eagle has done it again on this album, Brick Body Kids Still Daydream, um, one of the best of the year, um, you know, Open Mike Eagle is pretty much one of the best around right now, please make sure you have heard this album if you have not. It is an easy B plus from me, make sure you subscribe for more reviews, let me know what I should review next and have a good day.